and false stories from phony sites to run circles around major news outlets. Many people don't know the difference between something real and something created to deceive them. Open your eyes. If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. Hello, Moto. Elon Musk tweeted out an update on the second Neuralink device that was recently done inside of a human. I remember they've been doing this on a mass scale for a while. They're just announcing that it's in one person. It's in two people. This is to desensitize people to this technology being out in the world around us. And Elon Musk says, if all goes well, there will be hundreds of people with Neuralinks within a few years maybe tens of thousands within five years and millions within 10 years, millions of people within 10 years, which means realistically within 15 to 20 years, they're talking about billions of people having the Neuralink. And eventually we know this will be forced onto people. They never openly force anything in the beginning onto people because they don't want them to get suspicious. They make you and they make your life easier by getting this technology and they make you feel like you're making the choice. But what we've seen is little by little, they force people who don't have cell phones to struggle to function in society. You may have noticed if you go to a restaurant these days, you can't even get a menu anymore. They want you to scan a QR code on your phone to bring up the menu. This is how they slowly force people into their technology. But at first, of course, they release it like this and they say well this is going to help people and this is going to make uh you know life easier for people but we're not going to force it on anybody hopefully you know eventually people want it because they realize it's beneficial to them and again i believe fully that this type of technology the mixing of iron and clay ties in with the mark of the beast and the digital id you're embedded with this technology it's in your genes it's in your genetic code and what bothers me the most maybe the maybe not the most but what really bothers me about this is you see him tweeting that out right and then in between these tweets where he's talking about literally putting technology in people's bodies that'll change what they are he's just ta- he's playing the role right every other tweet overwhelming support for trump right since a lot of people have asked here goes a super unscientific poll who will you vote for overwhelming support for trump right baiting conservatives baiting christians right tweets like this nerfing of the gun emoji matches rise of the woke mind virus as a core tenant is equating fake harm with real harm so playing into people out there about the woke mind virus right of course we know that elon musk allowed his child to transition and now is coming out and saying well i didn't really allow my child to transition i didn't understand i was under hypnosis from what the media was telling me about my child this is just baiting 101 this is a wolf in sheep's clothing and one that's very easy to see and of course when any of these people start making fun of the woke stuff which is what the daily wire and the all right media does that's how they get an audience Because anybody out there with common sense knows that all this woke stuff is absolutely ridiculous. What they don't tell you is that it's really communism wrapped in a new package. And it's very easy to get an audience and get people to think that you're telling the truth by just making fun of insane woke ideologies. And that's exactly what Elon Musk and these people are doing. The reality of the matter is that everybody out there should be anti-woke. And even Democrats would be anti-woke if they actually were paying attention to what it really is, which is communism. Because communism is the enemy of humanity. It's the enemy to freedom, right? And all these Democrats are waving signs that say freedom. And they feel they're like, we're going to be free with our Democratic communist politicians.